One of these is like Met Gala and the other yeah. one is like I'm going to my high school prom. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan. And I'm Swasti. My name is Sarah. <laughs> and I'm Destiny. And today we're gonna see if we can tell the difference between cheap and expensive lipsticks. I think we can because we're both women of luxury. Yes, oh yes. I enjoy a good lipstick. I like some color, I like some pop. I'll use the same two things I always use. Yeah. I don't necessarily experience Great with a wide, yeah, a wide range. I used to be really into the liquid matte. Now mm -hmm. I'm full on just the classic. Yeah. I like a solid lipstick, yeah. Who hurt you? I feel like I use such a mixture of like inexpensive and expensive lipsticks that like they all feel the same to me. Yeah. I don't think I've ever sat down and really paid attention to which one is which. I should do better about knowing how much I'm spending on things, but if I'm like, it fits in the category of liquid matte, and a color I want, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I deserve it. Oh, oh wow, what a, a huge difference in price. That is a huge difference. Bring it on, bring on the lipstick. <laughs> This is a canister A. Now that they are in front of me, this is going to be a little tougher. Expect it. It's a Ooh, nice color. It is really cute. I, this is supposed yeah. to be a solid lipstick. And this A looks a little, yeah, it's very watery. A little transparent. This one does smell like bubble gum, which is like, is this oh, the cheap one? Yeah, I was gonna say, this one smells like high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> this one smells that, like the room it. in your house you're not supposed to go uh -huh. into. Yeah. Oh. Ah, okay. It's really smooth. It's really pigmented. It is very pigmented. I have to say, it does feel nice. Looking at the way it is applying, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this is the cheap one, simply because it doesn't spray well, and also the, the color doesn't like last. I do like the color. If you drag or anything, I feel like it would come off. Oh, definitely. It feels for sure like a little bit greasy. Mm -hmm. If you turn around and tell me this is the expensive one, I'm gonna flip this table. Because if this is $50, you need to get your money back because mm -hmm. this is not worth $57. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, should we dive into yeah. it? It feels like it's gonna last a lot longer. It feels like it has a lot more strength to it. I can see that. It looks pigmented, it looks rich. Mm -hmm. Color on this one I think is much nicer. Yeah. A little bit more mature. I don't know why, but it makes me feel like Marilyn Monroe. It smells like my grandma, honestly. <laughs> it screams, let me speak to your manager. That is the scent, that is the scent. Dead. I like this. I like this a lot. This got this is the expensive one. This feels very thick and rich, whereas the other one felt very watery and greasy. It does feel a little richer on the lips. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel as sticky. There's literally no way. Okay, let we me can know. let me look at myself. Let me stare deep into my soul and figure it out. Just the way it went on, the scent of it, it smells like it's complaining at me already. It's the smell that is throwing me off. This very much smells like drugstore, beauty supply. However, kinda. this one, it smells like a little strawberry tart, which makes me think it's for children. My guess, B is the expensive one, yes. Yeah, yeah my very final, unconfident answer is B <laughs> is the expensive one. Yeah! Yes, 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 yes. Wow, we, made, we did it. We did it. No, Wet n Wild, I've definitely heard of some. This is the yeah. cheap one. Yeah, 99 cents. It did a great job. Not bad. I never heard of Sisley. This looks exclusive. Oh my Ooh. god, it's in a little sexy nightgown. <laughs> wow. Why are there so many layers to getting to this lipstick? It's like a Russian doll. You just keep opening and yeah. opening. And... This could be $20 cheaper if you just... <laughs> okay. Looks nice. It, it smells like shoe polish. Mm -hmm. This smells like pure sugar. Let's do like a. It's like baby powder. Uh huh. It's like a little fresh. We'll try B first. Oh. I am not mad at this. You know what? It's very nice. Oh. Oh, that applies nice. You know what? This is Fenty. 
Oh. $57, though? That's such expensive lipstick. I know. Does it last forever? For $57, I want the lipstick to jump onto my face. Seems expensive to me. I don't know. This dried quicker than it's I could apply it. It's a little sticky. It's definitely like flaking a bit as it dries, though. It doesn't feel right. Something inside me is telling me it's not right. Yeah, it's too dry. Wow, did we get bamboozled? I think we did, because Zio was flaking. Look at this. This hurts. Yeah. <laughs> I like because it smells like chocolate. <laughs> Ooh, okay, ah, I'm confused. Yeah? Because this one feels thicker, which makes me like, oh, maybe it is more expensive. Oh. Oh, so much oh wow, this also feels really good. Yeah, this actually feels good. I feel like the color seems to spread, which is surprising. Because one of these has to be cheap, and I feel like both of them spread really well. Yeah, I can already tell you this one is much more expensive. Um, just because of the feel. It feels very moisturizing. It feels good. I like that gloss though. It's a little weird that it doesn't dry. It feels almost like maybe they don't have the formula to make it dry because it's the cheap one. Yeah. Like how do you live with this on? I don't know how you live with that one. I don't know how you live with either, but like this one, it like never dries. So like you're just goopy all day? Mm-mm, I'm going with luxury. by which one's cheap and which one's expensive. Though. Yeah, same. I'm going with A as definitely the expensive one. I feel like there might be a twist. If so, it's not $57 worth of a twist. Just because I like how this feels better, I'm gonna say this is the more expensive one, but I'm probably wrong. Coverage-wise, this seems to have lasted a little longer. There's no holes, like mm -mm. you said. Yeah, the other one felt like you had to put a little more in. This yeah. 99 cents is worth it. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So this is Remy Rose 99 cents. So this isn't the same color as yeah. the one in here, but it's the same packaging. And I mean, and it looks like a 99 cent store lipstick. Yeah. I mean, it's cool that they like sell matte liquid lipstick at the 99 cent store. Yeah, because I wasn't getting that as a child. Mm -mm. Come forward. That makes sense. It's like sleek and it like mm -hmm. feels like it would be expensive. Yeah. It's very heavy, which is nice. It's not $57 nice to mm, me. No. This is like six party packs at Taco Bell. So yeah. that's what I'm like, yeah. I don't get. I will say that this has changed me a bit because that first one was hard. I was like, I'm not sure what is cheap mm -hmm. and what is expensive. Uh, I think like there is a difference between like a 99 cent and like 20 bucks and up. Mm -hmm. But I don't think you need to go all the way to 57 to get like I no offense, Tommy, but like I think that there are comparable products for probably like a little bit less yeah. money.